<laughs> as we mentioned last time we discussed 1983, you are off to Japan to compete, to compete in the Giant Series, and they're going to work your ass off when you're over there in singles and tag team matches. Uh, while you're there, you're going to work with the likes, the likes of Tenru, Giant Baba, Akia Sato, and the Great Kabuki, among others. Ted, what can you tell us about dealing with the language barrier when you're in the ring with a Japanese opponent? Um, you know what? The, there really wasn't a, a language barrier in the ring because um, a lot of the Japanese wrestlers, especially the ones that became became big stars well you know when, when uh like giant baba had a you know like uh, the funk family basically dory jr and terry and, and and i guess dory senior when he was still alive and i don't know how they developed their relationship with with japan but a lot of the japanese yeah, the young japanese wrestlers would come over and, and spend time in the United States and in 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 the Amarillo territory. Ah, okay. And and would start there. And so um, you know, it was kind of like the basic the basic wrestling language they knew in English, you know. So and it's kind of like, you know, one tackle, drop down, get it again. You know, um, which basically if I had a headlock on a guy and I said one tackle, drop down, get it again. Or if he had the headlock on me, which means he, I'm going to shoot him off. He's going to hit me with a tackle. He's going to hit the ropes again. I'm going to drop down. And then when I stand up and turn around, he's going to grab the headlock again and take me over. One tackle, drop down, get it again. Ah, okay. So, you know, they learned the English uh, language in terms of, you know, calling uh, wrestling moves. 